and to another raggies beers wines and spirits review so tonight i'm actually reviewing from brew by numbers and it's brew by numbers number 64. um like a wasik i've not turned off the oh balls i've not turned off the um mm. notific there we go notifications gone there we go and that stops any buzzing in the background plus it also stops people moaning at the end of things so yeah brew by numbers number 64 this is an imperial stout and it says on the front cherry trifle now that does sound interesting it ticks the old raggy boxes and uh, so if i read this somehow uh, this full-bodied and decadent imperial stouts good evening steve how are you mate imperial stout is a liquid expression of a dessert favorite the cherry trifle. I love cherry trifle. Good evening, Kevin and Thomas. How are you? Um, of the cherry trifle. Layers of sour cherry, vanilla and custard. <sighs> Bloody hell, I'm already wet. I'm mouth salivates. That's even got to the halfway through the writing yet. <clears throat> Flavours sit atop a uh, robust and well-rounded imperial stout base. The resulting beer is satisfyingly sweet creamy and best enjoyed during the colder months yep it's absolutely bloody freezing outside at the moment good evening dave how are you mate um yeah freezing outside it's freezing in here as well okay yeah yeah i think it's a bit far from freezing if in doubt have a start good evening mark yes definitely get the starts uh way up a little bit lively Cherry trifle. God knows what I paid for this. There's, there's no. I think it was probably about a six quid. But it's a treat. It's uh, what night is it? Tuesday. Yeah, well, it's a midweek treat. We'll call it a midweek treat. That needs to go up a bit. <clears throat> now that can's too big. That's better. At least you can see the can. So. Lovely black, poor, tan head. Oh, just a hint of cherry on the nose at the moment. Bear in mind, it needs the um, the ABB to, uh, sorry, the air to get to it. Oh, bless you. In that it. Oh, I do love an imperial stout. You know, there's something about imperial stouts. You know, they're not cheap, but they do deliver. They deliver on ABV for starters, but they deliver on um, aroma and certainly taste. You know, there's no doubting that Imperial Stouts as a style, and maybe sours in some ways, deliver on what they promise. Um, last night I had an apricot sour and it totally delivered. It was absolutely full-on apricot and there we go that's better uh, <clears throat> and you know if you're going to pick a beer up you want something that does what it says on the tin you know you don't want to pick a strawberry beer up and not taste the bloody strawberry or well, what's the point so pour the rest of this in 10.5 percent hopefully i won't get a bollock in <clears throat> no sneaky beers tonight <clears throat> as you do so oh that smells lovely let's dive in four minutes in i don't sit yet good evening phil oh you can't be a bit of ornithology yes Craig, Kent Bear Reviews, he likes his horny, hornyphology, or oh, hornyphology, I'm, I'm more into hornyphology. Yeah, Fruly, fru I mean, there's a, there's a pub in Nottingham on uh, Friar Lane, um, I, can't, I can't remember the bloody pub, Ned Ludd, and they have Fruly on tap, and I'll tell you what, oh God, it's amazing. And it tastes ever so stronger. You, you buy a pint 
and it's, a, it's it's an investment you know you're not cheap but um oh bloody lovely on draft Oh yeah, the cherry now really starting to pop through. And uh, <clears throat> oh, what a beauty. Hello. Yes, it's it's a bit sweaty in here. I've had to shut the bloody hot, the uh, bare room door because the wife's in the hot tub. So it is a lovely 28 degrees in here. Good evening. So you change your name to just Liam Brewing now then. It's been a while since I've seen you. No, I can't because people were moaning the other night. Oh, your air conditioning has been condemned. Oh, shit. Uh, people were moaning the other night about the noise. Ah, fair play. What are you brewing? Out of curiosity. Not nice when the aircon breaks. Ours is pretty new to be fair. It's like two years old. And uh, I've got both um, a son who works in air conditioning and a, and a good mate who works in air conditioning. So hopefully, touch wood, um, hopefully it won't break. Yeah. We've had it on today. You walk in from the 30 degrees Homebrew these days is massive, you know, and uh, if you can deliver content that obviously people like, I mean, it's never easy, you know. Uh, the lockdown was great for a lot of channels across across YouTube. The lockdown was amazing. Coming out of lockdown, it's you've got to try and grab the, you know, you've got to be, it's getting people to share your channel. I do think, that for any channel to win, the more people that share. Hey, that'd be awesome. Plus I'd obviously <clears throat> bump up your channel as well, which is all good, isn't it? I, I, think, I think as channels, helping each other's out is, is how it should be. You know, um, we've all got a game where we want to get to. Elderflower and lime cider, bless you. I'm not doing any more uh, homebrew for a little bit now because um, I've got one, two kits. I've got that failed blackcurrant and I've got this apple and mango that I'm not sure what the hell's going. I think that the heat has, has boiled the yeast, which is crap. Yeah, probably being in the beer, you know, we knew it being a shed. The, the heat's got to it, and I think it's killed the yeast. I think it, because of the heat in it, it's like 30 degrees. Well, I'll tell you, know, with it being 30 degrees for more than a day or two, then everything's 30 degrees, including the beer, sadly. I've actually gone and put my little fridge, I've actually gone and stacked it full of craft beers now. So come tomorrow, they'll all be at um, chilled temperature. And I can do chilled beer reviews. Yeah. I will check on the... Um, I mean, luckily, both the beer kits were already done and dusted before this bit of a heat wave. Um, so, tonight, I've been doing some other stuff. So, tomorrow, I'm hoping to get both... I'm going to do two beer reviews, but it's going to be... There's going to be two homebrew beers being reviewed. Uh, but I am adding spirits. I've got spiced rum and I've got spiced rum and I've got honey bourbon to put in both the beers. So I'm going to put them in the beers. New kit. What kit's that? And good evening. No, I'm not getting no new, no new, nothing new at the moment. No, no, no. I'm trying to limit my spending on beer. It's, it's just, uh, to be fair though, I've filled up the beer wall, the, the, the fridge is full. All, all, all my areas are full. So at the moment, I'm going to stop buying beer. Although he says that. 
And then my sons are going to pick me eight new beers up today from a brewery up north called Muck, Mucky Duck, or something like that anyway, in the northeast. Forest Kit, ah, no, no, I always wait till the end of the season. So bloody expensive. I've got about, not a word of a lie, at least 20 different forest tops from over the years. Sad that I got rid of the green Brian Clough top. I must have chucked it at some stage. It must have got that bad, I chucked it. But I've even got the Juventus looking one, you know, the, the blue, stripy blue one. I've even got that and I've got the yellow one from God knows when. And uh, obviously lots of variations of red. And I've got, I've got rid of white ones I gave to my mum. And then she passed away. Pity I didn't get them all back really and get them sunny. You know, use the sunny, sunny pan or whatever it's called to make them white again. Yeah, that's what you get for getting, giving tops away. The amount of money my wife spent on football tops over the years. I do hope Forrest get some players, the right players. And I do hope this year that Chris hewton has got a good year to sort the squad out. I mean, we paid 15 million for Car Carvalho. And if we paid that much for him, you would think that in the end it'd be decent. Kits from China for 15 to 20 quid. That is interesting. There's always places to get the same stuff cheaper, definitely. Yeah, I'd like to see the youngsters coming through. Because, you know, these youngsters are fresh. They want it. If you take somebody who moves to a job, good evenings. Mr. Norman, how are we going? So, this is brew bar number 64. It is a cherry trifle imperial stout. And to be fair, uh, I'm getting a bit of cherry on it, to be fair. DH Gate is a app. <clears throat> if I don't fall asleep pissed up later, I'll have to have a nosey. No, I don't want to be getting pissed up because the wife, I'll get a bollock in anyway, so it's not worth the hassle. DH Gate. I must remember that. So to get beer, to get to get beer kits that you, you know you don't get over here, or some weird and wonderful beer kits, that that would be interesting. Especially if the price is right, you know. I can't, oh, Leslie Craver, is it Leslie Craver? Price is right. Yeah, so along them lines, isn't it? So. 10.5%. Are we back on the reviews yet? I've been off the internet. I had a few issues last week, and you might have noticed. Um, hello, Geordie. Good evening, mate. But everything's all good again now, and all sorts of that. Issues are all gone again. Is life but a world of issues? Yes. Yes, life's a load of issues. Um... My, the Raggy Beer come, is on sale Friday night. So, do I get an invite on Friday? I've had no invites at the moment, so I've no idea if I'm going to the pub on Friday night to celebrate with a beer or not. And if I am, will they give me a little bit of a room to do it, to do... Good evening, Slurpee. <laughs> to do a live review of um, Raggy's Golden Ale. I do wish they'd make me look a bit younger, though. Fucking hell. <laughs> I mean, I know I've got a little bit of grey, but Jesus. Yeah, but fair play. Maybe they picked me on a bad night, fuckers. <clears throat> more subtle, the cherry on this. You do get the cherry, but it is more subtle. Um, you certainly get the strength and the heat in here is 28 degrees it's like being in your front room in winter with the fire on with a nice imperial start in front of you you're like this in front of the fire in the middle of winter and it's like oh bless you 
I've got myself a nice imperial start. I'm watching Christmas films. Yeah. The only downer is, we're five months earlier. We're in the middle of July, sweating your balls off. And uh, there ain't no Christmas films on. Although, to be fair, I could go and put Christmas films on, so it's not really a big issue in that respect. <laughs> Ten day isolation. Positive test. Ooh. Let's hope you're well, mate. It. We don't want to be hearing about you, you know. How do you feel? You feel good? A Claude Monet. <laughs> yes, brew dog layer cake is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Those Scottish fellas know how to make some nice beers, well, now and again at least. Yeah. I don't think they're the best Scottish brewery by a long distance, even though they think they are. In fact, in America, weren't they the third biggest in America at one stage? Yeah. Layer cake is amazing. Definitely. Really nice beer. Top class. Um, it's funny, when Brewdog get it right, they get it bang on right. I mean, I went with Bullman's Bear Reviews to the Brewdog uh, Nottingham when he was over. So are you reviewing now then? And why have I not seen your reviews? I don't know why I bother subscribing to channels at times, you know, because I don't see people's reviews. Or when they go live. So you've been reviewing. Right, I need to go and check out then. Yeah. Uh, YouTube is absolutely pants. I'm not even subscribed to that many channels. One, because I forget to do it. And two, people pee me off. They, you know. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah. Right, I need to, I need to, I need to crack on. Yes, yes. It's a jolly good, yes. I used to do that all the time at work. Yes. Eight hour a day, seven hours, bit of bird reviewing. Yeah, especially this time of the year, Jesus Christ. Yes. Right, I'm not, you see, I remember you saying about having a beer the other week and I, and I was online and I looked and all I got was old reviews. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe he's not, maybe he's just having a drink and he's not doing reviews. And then I noticed reviews from like nine years ago. Wow, some of your reviews have got quite the number of hits. But obviously from nine years ago, you were at the start of it. So, you know, once you, if you're at the top of the ladder, um, is that a fly? It is a fly as well, or a spider. Um, <clears throat> if you're at the top of the ladder, you will get more um, hits than that, I presume. You know. Hey, oh, the fly's gone there. Where did he go? <clears throat> no. Bless you. Um, I've got some beers coming from the northeast on Thursday when my son's back. And I'm looking to go to a tap room this weekend somewhere. But I'm also, hopefully, going to review the Raggy's Golden Ale this week. God, I hope it tastes good. <laughs> I'm going to start a few lives. Bless you. you. need to let me know and I'll let the wife know. And uh, if you're up for a jump on, what what I need to do, when I get when I put some pennies aside, 28 degrees, mate, I'm sweating my absolute bollocks off. Yeah, to put it nicely. The door's shut because the hot tub's on. And it's fucking warm in here. <clears throat> oh, and I've got the hiccups. Yes, that Zia is amazing. It is. Good evening, Bolton. How are you, mate? Now the good the good person from Lincoln Green, who's brewing, who was the who's the owner of Lincoln Green, who's making the beer with my name on. He was on GMTV this morning. At 8.45. Um, 
doing an interview about the hospitality trade and these bloody the NHS um, pings you get from the NHS to tell you that you need to self-isolate which is four of his five pubs are out and uh, so if, if he can go national with that it's quite scary for me what will happen once this beer comes out on Friday will the local news get in touch with me and uh, I'm a shitting myself a little bit yeah uh, I've dealt with the news before because in my in my life as a gardener you know we've won national and uh, European awards but still when you are the fo sole focus that's uh, quite worrying and yes mate let's hope you're well crime watch no no <laughs> yeah not quite crime watch no I do think though that as, the, as the country goes as the world goes we all need to be infected get the antibodies and fuck this pandemic off because it needs doing one that sounds like the cold I had I had this severe cold, 11 days of a cold, never lost my taste, but by God did I have all the symptoms, and I took two lateral flow tests, nothing, it came up as uh, negative, the wife took test, negative, son took test, negative, but it just makes you wonder whether you've had it and you, never, you don't know, if I've had it, then I've definitely got uh, the antibodies now and I've had two, two um, jabs. But you never know, do you? It's that not knowing. It's like, uh, I mean, at least if your bollocks is dropping off, you know, you look down and, you, and your bollocks is like fucking half dropping off. At least you know. It's that not knowing. I reckon they ought to brought it out where, for blokes, yeah, let's not go down that road. My wife watches this. I'm going to get a real fucking arse on them. No, no, can't go down that road. No, I do apologise, you know. On a tangent as usual. So, God, it's sweaty in here tonight. I've got a right sweaty bollock off. Yeah, like, like Russian bloke. Yeah, yeah. It's Ivor. Ivor's, Ivor's cousin. Yeah, Ivor bollock off. Yeah, yeah. I'm sweaty bollock off tonight. So anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, best way in it. Yeah, neck the bear, fuck the uh, COVID, um, COVID and all that. So, black poor tan head on this, uh, ten point five percent cherry trifle. Can't say is it's the best uh, imperial stat I've ever tasted. To be honest, I brewed better than this, and that's strange because I'm not a craft brewer. You know. Brew by numbers, big company, they know how to brew. I do home brew. But on this day, it, there was a trifle element to it. But I can't say it was amazing. It was okay. It was good. But it wasn't, you know, it did not make me smile at any stage. When I smile, you know that you can't hold it back. When you get a beer that ticks those boxes, you know it's amazing. And sadly, this didn't tick those boxes. Whilst being good, it didn't, um, it's certainly not a top 10 bear. But still that trifle element. Why well, have got two cans on top of each other? Because the camera angle is absolutely crap in here at the moment. So I need to do that really. It's basically to show that can off. I need to cut, put a cup here really, don't I? So you don't see the one below. Well, you have to be honest, don't you? You know, it's, it's how it is, isn't it? I mean, still, it, let's be fair, it's still a great beer, but not, not the box ticker I thought it was gonna be. For me, a good 4.4 .4 out of five. So still a respectable score, but not quite what it is. Not quite the, with all the, uh, fuck me, I'm boiling. 
hot bulbs, eh? Mm. Right, I've got hot bulbs as well. And I'm going in the hot tub. Cool down. Out of five, 4.4. And uh, thank you all for watching. Gotta go. Hot tub's just gone back on. I'm going to dive in for a good half hour in the hot tub. And uh, hopefully chill down. Because I'm sweaty as a bitch. Yeah, I need to do that, don't I? I'm Betty, Betty Swallox, fucking damn right, Betty Swallox. Hoping on Friday to do a live review from a pub, some pub. And the funny thing is, my workplace, my boss is actually buying Raggy's Golden Ales for the workplace. So, and they're going big on it. They're going to, they are using, using me and they're going to promote it. For the workplaces, both workplaces are going to be stocking. Good evening, Shark. How are you, mate? Both workplaces are going to be stocking Raggy's Golden Ale, which is weird. Can you imagine that being at work, someone comes up to you, Raggy! It's like, yeah, do one. <laughs> I'll just hide. That's just that's just the person that I am. You know, I'll be really embarrassed and hide out of the way. Luckily, I'm not there. I'm not usually there when the weddings are on. I've just got out of the way nicely. Usually by three o'clock, I'm out of the way. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. Right, got to run. Thank you all for participating tonight. And uh, it's been a good one. It's nice to be back. Nice to be doing some lives. At least, at least one a night, at least. And uh, phew, cheers all. Right, I'm boiling. Proper sweaty. Cheers. <laughs> uh, see you soon. Oh.